Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. <coughs> oh, I'm never going back there again. Oh, at least they gave me a free nicotine patch when I left. Because I'm going to need it. This thing was a cancer risk when I got it. A buddy of mine bought this a few years back, took it to get serviced, and they did pretty much nothing. No cleaning, no servicing. I don't even think it moved from the floor when he dropped it off. A few months ago, he got it back and asked if I could take a look at it. I said, sure, why not? I'll clean it and we'll see if there's any other problems. Flavortown over here needed a lot of work. I started with the knobs, pulled them all off, but there were a couple that needed an Allen wrench. I was able to loosen the retaining screw and pull it right off. No problem. One of these knobs was missing the rubber grip, but that's not too big of an issue. Let's do a closer look at that knob and oh, man, is that grody. That is disgusting. Here's the original finish. It's not gold. All the knobs and buttons need to be soaked. I filled a bowl with some hot water and dish soap just to let them soak for about half an hour. And they'll be looking Gucci fam. Originally, I thought I might be able to take this aluminum panel off and clean it separately. I was wrong. So I just wasted a bunch of time undoing all these screws and wasted your time watching it. I did pull off the auto reverse mechanism and separate out the parts into the bath so they could get cleaned as well. This would be real fun to put back on later. The pinch roller also needed some attention, so I took that off, cleaned it, oiled it, and got it ready to go back on. With this panel off, I was able to get access to the buttons, unscrew them, toss the metal bits in the bath, and then wipe down the plastic parts and get a look at how bad the nicotine staining was. Dish soap and a sponge is really the best way to clean this. I did use a little Brasso towards the end just to get that last bit of nicotine off. I wasn't able to get it completely clean back to the original finish, but it looks silver instead of gold now. So that's definitely a plus. The one case also needed a wipe down just to get that nicotine residue off of it. It was pretty tacky and sticky. I was really careful with any pieces that had like printing or graphics on them. Years ago, I was a little too forceful with cleaning a stereo and some of the writing came off. Big oof. oof. At least it was only a cheap Mitsubishi stereo. I, I sold it soon after. From what I was told, this is a pretty rare unit. Only about 800 in total were made. 400 with the blue meters and another 400 towards the end with a regular kind of a white or yellow colored VU meter. Best way to clean your heads is with a Q-tip and a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. But this needed a little more attention. Mmm, tasty. Time for the deep clean. This bottom panel also didn't want to come off, so I wasted more time taking off the screws. Oh well, whatever. I, I just gave it a cleaning and was careful with the printing as well. Nothing came off, looks like it was in good shape. All right, let's check up on these knobs. A quick rinse and a wipe, and they look great. They look almost like new, and the rubber turned out perfect as well.
This panel also got wiped down to get rid of any residue from the nicotine. Turned out great. The auto reverse sensor sucks. Thing's got a bunch of teeny tiny parts. I almost lost one. It was such a pain to get back on. I was struggling with it for like 20 minutes. This circuit board is so thin and flimsy, I'm surprised I didn't snap it in half. Speaking of struggle, This big, fat fuck gave me so much resistance when I tried to disassemble it. First, I had to remove all the screws from the bottom and then remove all the screws from the back and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth, trying to shimmy it out. They're not just simple where you could open the top with some screws on the sides and get right in. Nope, you gotta struggle with a big old box. Once inside though, you can really appreciate the craftsmanship. They spared no expense in building this thing back in the day. There's not one ounce of wasted space inside of here, but it is still dirty, so it needs a cleaning. Ideally, I would use compressed air, but I never have that on hand. So I go with my good old standby of a clean paintbrush. After that, I decided to clean all the pots and the switches. A little WD-40 goes a long way. Spray it in there, give it a good twist back and forth to clean up any of that corrosion and distribute the WD-40 all around inside. After this, there really wasn't much more to do. It was clean inside and out for the most part. I was really just getting it back together. But was it worth it? I'd say so. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for this in a future video.